Today on Foundation Lady, we will be having a bit of a Clinique extravaganza, if you will. Testing out a foundation, concealer, and powder. Starting with the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation in the shade Alabaster. Let's get started. I started out with a Smashbox hydrating primer all over my face, followed by just a little bit of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer just on my chin where I have a bit of acne to cover up. Then I went in with the LA Girl Pro Corrector Concealer in green to counteract my red spots, followed by my trusty MAC Conceal and Correct on top of the green. And then we're ready to apply the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation, one of my most requested foundations, and I'll start out on the left side. I'm also really excited to do this video because I used to work for Clinique. That's right, I worked at a Clinique counter, worked my way up to counter manager, so I got to play with makeup every day. I loved my coworkers, and not only that, but I got to do makeovers on people for events and weddings, and it was just all around a really eye-opening <laughs> and great experience. I have a lot of crazy stories if you ever want me to make a video on what it's like to work at a makeup counter. But anyway, I'm gonna try to use a little bit of my insider knowledge, if you will, as we're doing this video um, to try to give you some tips about Clinique as we're going. So let's have a little chat about shades. I'm wearing the shade Alabaster today, but I wanna pop in a pic here that I took at Ulta the other day when I was testing swatches. So here's a little bit of my frustration with Clinique. They have superb formulations. But as you see here, all of these shades have a very peachy undertone. And once I swatched them on my face and let them oxidize, it was like 50 shades of orange. And I can tell you that the entire time I worked at Clinique, I found one foundation that had a beige enough or neutral enough undertone for my pale skin. Now, there are definitely shades I can make work. As you see here, I'm gonna make this one work. But as I bring it down on my neck, you'll see in a moment, that it's gonna start to oxidize a little bit peachy on me. So it's one of those where I can always find a foundation that I can make work, but if I were to ever consult with Clinique and they said, what can we do to make our foundations better? I would say, keep the shades you have now, but add in a few more neutral shades for those of us who are on the lighter side or the medium side. And the reason I say don't take any shades out is because Clinique is one of the few brands left that has shades that do have that pinky or that peachy undertone for those with that really beautiful English rosy skin that need it. And in fact, I remember years ago reading when they first started Downton Abbey that they had trouble finding a shade that was light enough and kind of pink enough for Lady Mary because she has that beautiful English, you know, pale skin and they use Clinique. Of course, if you've watched my Film Star Foundation video on Downton Abbey, you'll know that they, at some point, I guess, switched over to Armani Luminous Silk, which of course looks beautiful on the skin. But I remember reading, I wish I could tell you which article it was, but it was a long time ago and I just, that stuck in my head that they used Clinique for Lady Mary. So that's why I suggest don't take away, just add a few more so that more people can enjoy it. Now on the flip side of this, Clinique has excellent shade options for women of color. And when I was there well over a decade ago, I remember my boss telling me that they were really, really getting into studying African-American skin and undertones and they were just so, so beautiful. So if you are a foundation wearer of color, then don't be afraid to try Clinique. They have absolutely stunning shades. Okay, I'm off my soapbox now. <laughs> Let's cover the basics. This foundation is an oil-free serum that is sweat and humidity resistant. It has a satin matte finish and is 86% skincare. It's best for combination oily and oily skin. You get one fluid ounce or 30 mil for $43 US. It has 42 shade options to choose from an SPF of 25, and of course, since it's Clinique, there is no added fragrance as Clinique never adds fragrance to their products. And it's worth noting that it's free of parabens, phthalates, and synthetic colors. Also, it's very concentrated, so you only need a tiny bit of it. So I like this foundation. 
When I first heard matte satin as the finish, I thought, how can something be matte and satin? But when I looked at the close-ups and when I looked at how the light reflected off of it, I understood what they were saying. Overall, it really does look like a matte foundation, but it's not a harsh matte. And every once in a while, you just get that little gleam of light bouncing off of your skin. So let's talk concealer for a moment. I got the Even Better All Over Concealer Plus Eraser. And if you're wondering what the eraser part of this is, this little part pops off the top and it has this nice little sponge here with a point on it so you can use it to blend in your concealer. I love innovation. I think this is great. I will say in the end, I probably ended up using my fingers a little bit more to blend, but I love the innovation on it, as I said. So people really rave about this concealer and I do think it's really good. I think it's really nice. I loved how it brightened around my eye area, around the shadowy areas around my eyes. I didn't love it quite as much on the areas where I tried to highlight because I found that it may have been in combination with the foundation. I don't know what it would do on its own, but I did find that at least together, my skin looked a little bit drier in the areas where I was highlighting with the concealer. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because I wanna get to probably my favorite part of this review, which is the Clinique Blended Face Powder. Oh my beauty blender. This is gorgeous. And Clinique has this interesting take on it. It's translucent powder, but they have it in different shades. So they have shade 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm using shade 20, which I believe is their lightest shade. I actually pulled out my Laura Mercier translucent powder because when I opened this Clinique powder, I noticed what a gorgeous neutral beigey undertone number 20 has. And you know I love a good beige because it helps counteract any redness in the skin. So I compared it, and as you can see here, this Laura Mercier definitely has more of a peachy undertone to it, I hope you can see it in the camera, than the Clinique version. So then I thought, okay, I love the color of this. So then I put it, I started just very lightly around the nose and I pressed it into my pores, and my pores practically disappeared. So if there is anything today that I can stress to you about this makeover I'm doing with the Clinique products. This powder is excellent. I would love to get this powder into everybody's hands that has already tried the Laura Mercier and loves it because I think you might like this one even more. And my biggest tip for it, like I said before, press it into the skin, especially those pores around your nose. Press it in, don't just, you know, swirl it and sweep it over and swirl it over your face. Actually press it in and then sweep away the excess. That's the, that's the golden ticket right there. So as I finish up with the rest of my makeup here and get ready to show you pictures of how this looks in different types of light, let's go ahead and cover the good, the bad, and the pretty of this foundation. So the good. This has a beautiful finish. This beautiful matte satin finish. Also, it's really great for sensitive skin. It's allergy tested, it's fragrance free. You can always depend on Clinique for that. Also, I love that a tiny bit goes a long way. I didn't have to double up on this. I could just do one layer and go. And finally, and this is admittedly very small, but I think this packaging is adorable. I absolutely love innovation. I love new packaging and I love how they package this foundation. As far as the bad goes, I have just one thing to say, shades. I wish they would add more shades. And I truly feel, this is just my humble opinion, but I feel that you would see more Clinique foundations in the beauty community, on TikTok, on YouTube, just exploding everywhere if they revamp their shade options. Just my opinion, but there it is. Thank you so much for watching today, and thank you so much for your comments on the foundations that you want to see. I always wanna show you foundations that you wanna see, and I appreciate it so much when you tell me what those are. It takes me a while sometimes to get to them, uh, but I have a list of them. I always write down every request, so you can always feel free to comment below and tell me what you wanna see. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Stay tuned for Norm, and I'll see you soon.